last yard, got the boy. Akeem Thompson just made top four at, was it Kansas City? Kansas City, yeah. Uh, what you playing? What are we playing? Reboot Cell, start of the day. You know, playing Reboot so back on the map, you know what I'm saying? You know, I did it first. <laughs> But you know, this is my little protege. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man, you did really well. And you went what X2, X3, X2 and Swiss, and then I lost to Dane uh, in top four. Top four. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and through that profile. We all know what Cell does. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put them to the side. All right. Pretty standard. Four seventeen. Four eighteen. Three of the 17 18. Uh, you really want to see these turn one mm -hmm. or turn two so you can turn to a weekend. Uh, this one is just a name. The crit comes up sometimes, but most of the time your opponent will play around it. Not four? Not four. Not four. Too much. Yeah, too much. Yeah. Um, I went four of the orange slot, three of this guy. Uh, same reason as this. Uh, most of the time your opponent will play around uh, your leader KOing uh -huh. their guys. So this one actually came up a lot more than this one. I know a lot of people did three and four, but I like this ratio a little bit better. Yeah, because before we was usually doing four of this and three of that, right? Yeah. But uh, I, get, I think the format changed and we just you know, decided on this more because there's more destruction now in the, uh, in the deck. So. Yeah. Um, Three of the four drops, I mean four of the four drops, and two of the eight drops. Standard, standard. Standard. A lot of people run in three. Uh, this card's really bad against Sin. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the card is just bad against Sin, or red in general, so. Oh, yeah. So, I didn't want to have three of this card. Plus, we can always bring it back from the drop area, so. Um, two of the seven drop, two of the retro generation. Win condition. Yep, the win condition. Pretty standard. And then. Oh, that's the new boy. Two of the Sun Goku Fader Rivals. This was probably my favorite card all weekend. Uh, getting rid, rid of the barrier cards, being a barrier, being a double strike. Just really, really good. Uh, applied a lot of pressure. This helped me win both of my launch matchups, hand down. Uh, the, actually, the first launch player I played, he was playing uh, Blue Boo Unison, mm. and I actually thought I was going to lose because he had access to Godzilla, mm. but this was actually able to pressure the markers off the Boo Unison. So uh, this is a new card, so what does it do again? Uh, so for, if your opponent has three energy, um, you can tap two green, play this card from your hand by uh, sending a Earthling, Namekian, or a Saiyan from your Z energy uh, back to the bottom of your deck. And you can play this and remove a card with barrier. So, the targets were the super combos. So you could just super combo, charge this in your Z energy, and then use this to recycle this back to the bottom of your deck. And then you could also... Um, if I didn't see the super combo, I could combo one of the, himself or oh, I the four that. drop. Yeah. So this I never actually that never came up, but the super combos and combo and another one. Came right, up. After you recycled this, did you ever like redrew redraw into it? Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, there was a game I used six super combos. Yeah. <laughs> so you can recycle the super combos and then you make a cell. And then this, you actually put it back into like a into the mix of your deck, so it's not at the bottom of your deck anymore. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because once you go into your um, when you use your absorb, you have to shut your deck, so there's a chance to draw back into your super combos. Yep. Right. Um, defensive package for charismatic for standard. Four dormant. Four dormant. Four dormant. Four clone. All right. Some people don't like four dormant. Why do we play four dormant? I actually don't like four dormant either. I know. <laughs> But um, just taking uh, Trevor's advice, Mike's advice, they said I shouldn't go into the event playing 50 cards. I'll get milled out. So I decided to actually put one of each of these into the deck. I was playing three, three, and three. Just uh, 
just for the extra cards. There was actually nothing else I wanted to play, so I just upped the defensive package. And then, of course, for the Vegito Unison. Cards, mandatory in the deck. Mandatory. Make sure Dormant's live. Make sure Charismatic's live. Um, Let's you draw every time you Union Fusion, and the, it's the one of the main parts of the so game discussion combo. So did you ever think combo. about playing the new Piccolo Unison? Uh, I did. I did want to play the new Piccolo Unison, but uh, all in all, this was just better. Yeah. The Piccolo Unison got... I mean, this is this is already bad against him, but the Piccolo Unison makes it much, much worse. Mm -hmm. um, Since that's a plus two, so... Yeah. Uh, it's like a ticking time bomb against your opponent. They, ha they have to answer this card. Yeah. Or they just die. Uh, yeah. Let's go over the Z deck here. Um, not much in the Z deck. Yeah, the Z deck. you know, Bandai doesn't like the <laughs> Two of this card. <laughs> Two of this card. <laughs> That's uh, this is a self awakener, which we never need. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this uh, lets you KO a five or less. Yeah. And yeah. then pseudo like hand control if you recycle his energy. Yeah. Uh, I never made any of these all weekend. <laughs> I actually like asked every single one of my opponents if I could just keep my Z deck in my. <laughs> deck box? I was like, I'm never going to okay. I'm never, never going to cast these. Yeah. Okay. Alright, All right, let's go ahead and see that side deck. You know what I'm saying? Side deck. So we play two of these. Uh, this is... So actually, I'll just... Two of these, two of these. Uh, one more Son Goku. And two of the Piccolo Fader Rivals. So this one, if you have the Goku out, you can pay one to play this card. And then when this is played, uh, you can remove markers from a unison for a, each of your Z energy. Did so, you ever cast this this weekend? Yes, I did. So this was this package right here is really for blue mm -hmm. to stop some of the floodgates. And then you just side out the retro generation package because with God selling, they're never gonna let you do that. Yeah. So the goal was to ideally proc the Vegito unison then drop this for five, proc this, and then drop the Zeno to get nine cards, and then kind of use these to get rid of their six drop barrier guys, and the Piccolo to kind of control their hand and keep it small enough for the combo to actually matter. So that was the idea behind this. Actually didn't end up working out, but... Uh, two Majin Buu for... Aggro. I actually sided this in against Sin because I saw a lot of Sin players were siding out the um, their crowns mm -hmm. versus green. Um, that two, makes sense. Yeah. Two focus breakthroughs. Um, two bigger mores. Also again for Sin. This is originally what I was going to side for Sin because I thought they were going to crown me, so I just wanted to tap out. Oh yeah. Okay. But then I started siding this in once I saw all the Sin players siding out their crowns, and then. Uh, Again, for Sin, Shock and Death Ball, just to have another Heart Negate, because uh, having them swing through the, the um, what is it? The Dormant, mm -hmm. the first swing still going through, I didn't like, so I would actually side out of Dormant. I'm actually even liking Shock and yeah. Death Ball this one, man. Yeah. And it can kill some of the... Um, some of the small guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of annoying, especially some of the Sin, like the Nova. Um, Dragons, but anyway. Yeah. yeah. What were your matchups? Uh, actually, real quick. So I know round one I played against Launch. Uh, round one was Launch. Mm -hmm. Like I said, uh, I got the pressure of Unison, so he wasn't able to gossip on me when I combo. Mm -hmm. uh, round two I played against, I think. Multicolored Bardock. Mm -hmm. He played like all six colors. Oh, that's the black, the black leader. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he had no answer to turn five combo. Um, round three, I played against Sen. I lost to Sen, which I kind of expected. Uh, round four again was lunch, um, but he was playing the what was it, the Jaren Unison, the Red Unison. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Round five again with Sin. I was actually an Eggman and uh, lost to him. Then round six was Gamma. Round seven was 
blue skill is gone. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, that's uh, I want to say set twelve. Yeah. 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 Actually, saw, I just saw it was a blue leader, and I saw it in the Goku Piccolo combo, uh -huh. and it's like, yeah. so this is a blue. Yeah, just blue. <laughs> side it out. Yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah. And then round eight again was actually my boy George. And that was like my only sin win all day. Uh, Sorry, George. Sorry, George over there. Yeah. Um, and then I finished third. Actually, I finished fourth in uh, Swiss. And then I played Dane Sunday mm -hmm. in top four. And he was playing uh, SS3. Yeah. SS3. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. How was that matchup? It's rough. Uh, <laughs> it's like. Loses pretty hard to Godzilla. Yeah. But uh, good weekend overall. Yeah. Had a good time. Put uh, it down the deck. Put it down the deck. <laughs> time to play something else. Uh, only reason I played is, is uh, I knew it well, and I knew I could win all the matchups I was supposed to, and I knew that would be enough to get my top. And guess what? How long have you been playing this game? Since July. So, so it's been like what? Like a month or two? About two months. About two months. Yeah. Got top 16, got his invite, you know, getting ready for December. I've well, been playing for two months, and he's been uh, grinding. Been grinding, grinding up. playing every day. And, uh, you know, proud of the boy, you know. But uh, any shout outs? Yeah, definitely. Shout out to Trevor. He uh, gave me the deck. He told me uh, it'd be easy to play. I'll probably do well with it. Show me how to play it. He's like he's an ex Yu-Gi-Oh player, so yeah. I was like, yo, this is the most Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Yeah, you can play. it really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout outs to Mike. Um, shout outs, honestly, everybody here at Kings that's that played testing with me mm -hmm. and uh, helping me get better, showing me the ropes. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. Yeah. All right, bro. Peace out.